Uh, my name is Jarrell. This is the channel Gaja. Uh, it's a combination of my name and my girlfriend's name. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing um, or telling y'all about what it's like to be in a pad split. Um, so currently where I am staying is a pad split. Um, I moved in here about five, five, six, five months. Been in here for about five months. So I want to tell y'all about this whole process, the pros and the cons, and the things to expect if you find yourself in a situation where you can't afford an apartment um, and you don't want to live at home. So you're like, okay, let's let's do this. This is kind of like an in-between cost situation. All right, so we're going to start right here, right? Let's say, you know, we're on the Google, we type in pad split. We're looking up. Uh, I live in Houston. Um, and let's say we have all these places available, right? Um, you find a place where you want to live. You say, oh, okay, this, this looks all right. It's got the bathroom. It's got the rooms, all that business. Um, whenever y'all are looking for a place for your pad split, when you're looking for a place, um, you need to always look at all of the photos, but also... You need to look at, are you sharing a bathroom? Um, what does the kitchen look like? Um, how many people are at that pad split? Um, these are all very important. You would think like, oh, I just need a place to stay. But trust me, it's it matters whenever, um, you know, you get there and you you just work the 12 hour shift and all you're trying to do, like look right here, this says it's got driveway parking. Um, four parking spots available and currently three people live there. They got a $97 move-in fee, $149 a week. Um, the room looks all right. Looks all right. Um, but anyway, when y'all go in and to do this, you have to have a job. So if you don't have a job, um, I have a recommendation for you that can work. Um, if you don't have a job, um, cause a lot of these people will rent out the room to you. If you don't have a job, it's just with pad split. You have to have a, a direct deposit, um, going into your bank account. Check your bank account to see if you make enough money to pay this 149 a week. Um, if you do, then you get approved for a certain amount of money that you could spend, um, which is nice. So that way it kind of keeps you from going over like if you don't make enough for this one 230 you won't even see this as an option after you apply for a place with pad split it's very nice that they do that um so that way people can still live within their means and pay there is a one month minimum um you have to stay at your place for a month otherwise you have to pay a fee um so you know if the place you get to is horrible um you're gonna have to thug it out you're gonna have to thug it out and um, you're gonna have to just roll with the punches for four weeks. Um, after the four weeks, you can go to a different path split. That's what's nice about it is if you're, after four weeks, you're like, dang, I don't really like this place. And you find a place that's like a five miles down the road and it's $20 cheaper and you don't have a lot of stuff, just go ahead, pack your stuff up, go to the next path split. It's almost like, booking a hotel but for longer stays um that would be the key things so that one well, now that we have gotten that part over um and also if you have any questions about like the getting of the pad split please um let me know in the comments um i'm gonna also put my link for you to sign up for pad split maybe i can benefit from this i don't know i'm a struggling guy Maybe you are, you aren't, girl, guy, he, him, they, them, um, you know, however you to identify yourself. All right, y'all, so this is, um, this is the place that I stay at. These are the house rules. Uh, no animals, no kitchen appliances in the bedrooms, no co-living guests, no overnight guests, um, and then they have a quiet time, and then no outside furniture. Um, this table is outside furniture is what they would call it um, I did contact the host prior to moving in here and I asked him hey can I bring my table and PC setup 
he said yes um, so that's why I have this here um, so although it says these things if you can work something out with the host and you know that you um, need this to do whatever you need to do then um, you know maybe they'll work it out if not find someone who will honestly um, do to do let me show y'all here so you know it shows the people who are here with me at the pad split the vehicles um, and then you can also ask to change rooms if there's a room available and then you can also press this to move out and you can move out literally right next week um, they have a rating section you can see how your pad mates rate you and then you can also see the ratings um, um, yeah someone said I was clean and respectful and then another person said leave a mess in the kitchen and up late cooking and stinked up the entire house oh wow, wow. anyway uh, this person put respectful that's uh, some of my ratings um, I wonder when that February oh it's probably that one girl anyway so look this is my do every Sunday um, this do will pop up my do is hundred and seventy dollars I kinda paid some of it just now and then when I do uber later today I'm gonna pay the rest um, if you don't pay it on time they will charge you twenty five dollars um, late fee and then you'll have seven days to catch up on that payment otherwise the balance goes over 300 and then you have to move out four days after that payment's due so you basically have two weeks to make up one payment all right so we're gonna start i'm gonna show you my room then i'll show you the place and then i'll tell you all about the stuff about it. so um it's different with every location but sometimes they'll have these like pads here you put the numbers in if you don't make your payment they'll just lock this you can't get in the room can't get in the building um this is a decent sized room it's a queen size bed uh pay 170 a week um i did bring these things that i also had to ask for permission to bring these things in um so that way i could have something up here because um, I had an issue with some of the other people here who would either eat my stuff or use my stuff um, and uh, I'm gonna get into that here in a second uh, this is not my furniture this was already here uh, the beds ready here although I did have to purchase um, a mattress topper a four inch mattress topper because what was already on the bed the bed itself is hard so I put this four inch mattress topper it makes the bed real nice and soft and then I put this a nice sheet sheeting on top um, it came with a TV uh, and I did not my mind did not have a remote I had to go buy a remote because I don't know what they did with it um, this is a closet it's a pretty good size walk-in closet um, I have no issues with this closet. I mean, I'm using this as storage at this point because I don't have that much clothes to need all this. But, um, yeah, um, I do have a lot of my sales items under the bed. Uh, just trying to maximize the space. Um, and, uh, yeah, so let me, let me walk it out here and let me show y'all that. This mirror I got for $20 on Facebook Marketplace. Um, this one here I got for $10 Facebook. This one I got for $20. This is an uh, air cooler. I got to fix it though. Um, this one I got on Facebook for $15. And this one I got Facebook for $20. Um, basically I go on Facebook for everything. I just try to get everything cheap because I can't afford all that. Like uh, this computer, this this one was twenty bucks. Uh, this bad boy was ten dollars. The uh, computer was sixty. The printer was twenty. Um, yeah. All right. Okay. So uh, this one. Um, 
Pat Split has a uh, two two uh, people to a bathroom rule. So for every two rooms, there's a bathroom. Um, so in this location, there is three available bathrooms for the six people that live here. Um, this is one of them. Bathrooms and pad splits, and you'll have this issue if a lot of the guy, the people who live there are males, um, which most of the people in pad split from what I've seen are males. Very few women have, at least at this one, very few women have came here. Um, cleaning is like a big issue. You have a big issue with people cleaning. I recently just cleaned this bathroom, but prior to me cleaning it, it was quite dirty. Um, it could go a month without it getting cleaned um, just because nobody wants to decide on who wants to clean it, who doesn't want to clean it. And then it just becomes like this long winded, who's going to clean it, who's going to, who's going to get nasty out first type of thing. Um, what's interesting is everyone is so superstitious about their stuff being taken that no one puts anything in these drawers. Um, all this space is available for people to put their cleaning stuff, their bathroom stuff. No one puts their stuff there because someone can come in here, they can use your stuff. You won't know who used it when six people are available to this bathroom. Um, like here, no one's putting their stuff in here. This stuff belongs to the host or something. Um, yeah. Uh, toilet paper. If you put your toilet paper out, um, at least at this one, toilet paper is going to be gone in like two, three days. Don't know what they do with it, but it's going to be gone. All right. So y'all see here, they have the numbers. This is how the rooms are done. Um, five, six, seven. See? The the one you're at will be different, but from what I've seen is people just like taking people's stuff um, and then no one will be accountable. Like if I showed you the group chat, people will read the chat, but then they won't respond to the chat and then you'll see them and they won't do anything about it. It's crazy. Um, so now here we are downstairs. <sighs> This location has this small little, little table area. You can eat your food. There's one guy here who uses it, but most people don't. It just, um, I don't know. Everyone here talks to each other, but everyone works. Um, this guy left his room door open. I don't want to get all up in his business. Um, back here, let me show y'all this. It was like this big storm a few weeks back. And this had glass. The whole glass shattered. This thing broke. It's been sitting here broken for like almost, what, two, three weeks now. No one comes out here to sit. Uh, the host put this out here to kind of create some camaraderie. But we live in Texas. It's almost 100 degrees out. Who wants to sit in these chairs? Let's be real, y'all. Let's be real. Um, what I do like about pad split is the uh, areas for the house are available for anyone to use um, washer and dryer for locations honestly when someone leaves their clothes in the dryer um, the only thing we do is if it's dry I mean there's a table plop it on the table if this is their laundry bag you put it in their bag and then you keep it pushing but usually you would wash your clothes first before you did that because you don't want to be that guy right um but yeah that's really all it is if you forget usually people are respectful they'll put your clothes there or there um and then the kitchen this is the big one this is the big one the kitchen is the the root of all issues in pad split so I don't know how other locations are do it, but I'm gonna tell you about this one, okay? So here's the first issue, all right? So y'all see these drawers here? They're numbered by the room. See how I can just open these bad boys? Not saying that people will go in and open them, but it's possible when you know who's home. I mean, you're, you're, you look at the driveway and you see, 
you see three cars and you know that car belongs to this person that person's not here so they'll sometimes we had a one girl she would come in she would see who's not here and she would come in open someone's drawer see if there's some food in there that she can take and then take it um, my stuff I have literally nothing in here only thing you can eat is this bread and this banana um, bananas not looking too good um, now the dishes interesting um, right now we're doing pretty good on the dishes but sometimes it, it get bad. Um, the host is really good. He'll step up on people on dishes. But I will say, I will say that a lot of people do not know how to wash dishes. You, you can, they can be washing the dishes and then you can go look at the dish. Let me go grab a dish. You can go look at the dish and the dish is going to be dirty, okay? Okay, here, look. The first thing I grabbed, okay? It's the first thing I grabbed, all right? So look, I'm gonna turn on the flash. Oh, it's on, okay. Y'all see that right there? This was the first cup I grabbed. So this was in the dishwasher. Someone proudly washed this dish, put it in the dishwasher, and they're gonna pick this up and use it. From a distance, it don't look that bad if you're not really looking at it, but you can see, and, um, that's one thing y'all gotta really look out for because because with pads put there is some shared dishes that the host will provide but the majority of your dishes are going to be your own um however it gets a little annoying when you know every time you wash your dishes you have to take them up to the room so that way no one uses them um so my advice is wash everything never trust someone else's washing especially with the fact that people are sharing stuff um the next thing here is the, the fridge so there is seven people seven people at this location and this is the fridge that we're working with here right so between all these seven people we're all just kind of just remembering what you purchased that's all this is there's no organizational thing here you just know that this belongs to the guy in room five this belongs to the guy in room two this is room four but this is also room four this could be room four too everyone just got their stuff kind of mixed up in sections in the fridge and uh, you just kind of remember what's yours and what's not yours and it works out however we did have a girl who's in the room two which is the one that you saw um in the hallway um, she would come in and she would eat like nonchalant. She would not care. She'd come in here, open something up, take it, eat it right in your face. No care. 50 humanity. 115 humanity? 50. 50? Yeah, 150 humanity. Oh, percent? Yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. 150% humanity. Yes, Got you, okay, okay. All right. So he missed the heat, triple, like. Triple awful. Got you. Okay. What you up to? Um, I, I'm chilling. I'm making a little. Uh, making this? I'm making a little. No, that. No, I'm making a little. Uh, little video for myself here. Oh really? Yeah. Considering what? Um, I'm just kind of like uh, you know I got this YouTube channel that I'm making so oh, I. Really? Yeah. I want to come on it. I Oh wow. She's adamant about it. I don't know how to kill it. I don't want your apartment. I don't need it. I'm satisfied where I'm at. Oh. And uh but she's she's uh I can't check it off of her so I wanna probably be forced to move into an apartment. But I'd rather not. Even I, is it more expensive or 
It was 750. It's, uh, it's, the rent is very, it's very good. Oh, 750 okay. a month, but you gotta pay your lights. You gotta have, you gotta pay house Lights, electricity, uh, internet. Uh, yes, of course, internet. And uh, that's it, Water Street. And it's a apartment complex where it's not like drug infested or crime written. I mean, you could park your car and a lot of mess here at night. I mean, I've been there hundreds of times. Yeah. But uh, it's uh, going back to why I just like to live in a room. It, it, it's uh, so much easier for me. I mean, all I gotta worry about is my room. It's locked, it's secured. Um, and with an apartment, I gotta do clean the kitchen and everything. And I don't got time for that because I work 12 hours a day, five days a week. And here I just go to my room, clean my little mess up when I clean the kitchen, when I do cook or something. And so, what, what would you tell someone? Main thing, like, to, why to choose to, to use one of these? I would, uh, I would tell them, look, it depends. Are you, uh, do you have a couple, are you, uh, you having a significant other? Or do you have a family? Because if you're like yourself, by yourself, this would be ideal because uh, there's not much to take care of but yourself. And uh, you don't have to worry about uh, the things that you worry about with more space than with just one room. Going on, again, you gotta clean your mess up in the kitchen, which a lot of people don't. And uh, that's the only drawback. <coughs> people that don't uh, clean up their mess, and uh, that's about the only drawback that I can think of but living in uh, one of these mm. they call them. That was my roommate, Juan. Uh, room two uh, as I was saying there was a girl who was in room two prior to one um, She would eat other people's food. She would ask people for money for drugs um, She would at one point came up to my door wearing next to no clothing and she asked me for some money um, and um, I was like, what are you doing here? Like what, what the heck? I'm like, I mean she was like visible. This was visible this was visible y'all it wasn't like she was wearing it was like out there anyway um she threatened to everyone in here and then we had to call the cops they arrested her she was removed from the place we had another girl prior to that um she was having relations with another guy after being here for just like three days after three days of being here her and the guy who was here started doo -doo -doo -doo, and um, they both moved out together. I don't know if they're still together or not, but that's what was happening. It was like, it was like you met her and then three days later, it's like, oh, why are y'all in the same room? What's going on? And it was, yeah, anyway. Um, so those are the things you have to look out for um, with Pats, but there's crazy people, crazy things. Um, you just got to be really careful what you're doing um, since we are responsible for the trash So uh, someone takes it out every Wednesday either. I do it another guy does it someone does it um, The garage is nice because you can actually store some stuff in here. No one parks their car in and the reason why No one parks their car in the garage Is simply because of the fact that if I park my car in the garage and y'all double park two cars in front of me, I have to go knock on two doors to get both people to move. Um, so that's another issue with pad split is that when you're in the garage, you have to communicate with everyone that, hey, I'm going to work here, hen, when, whatever. Um, otherwise, you park on the side of the road and you don't have to worry about those things. But it is a huge concern if you're the type of person who's like, I really don't want to have to bother someone every time I want to leave. You know, at one point we, we had... Um, two more people with cars and um, 
you know, every day you had to ask someone to move their car for you to park. And it became such a nuisance that you would have to wake up at 5 in the morning, move your car, and then go back to bed. Um, and everyone here is working. Everyone here is trying to get something done. Um, so it's not like it's just a whole bunch of people sitting around because no one actually, no one actually wants to be here. You know, like we're happy to be here. We're happy that we have somewhere to stay. But no one actually is like, yes, I love that this situation over having your own situation. So you just have to be really, really um, adaptable is what I would say. You have to be able to adapt to the situation because, um, I mean, you're in there with a whole bunch of strangers, different nationalities, different genders, um, different home bringing, um, different cleansiness styles, different cooking styles. I mean, there's people who come, they'll cook their, their food right here. They might leave their pot, um, or they might even, um, they might even, uh, not cook. They might cook something that's like really odorous, like pork or whatever it might be. And, you know, you just got to get used to it. Um, and um, you just got to kind of not be so serious because it's you, you got to remember, it's not like your place. It's like a shared place. Like you come here and you're walking up these stairs, but these stairs also belong to four other people. So you can't be like selfish. Now, I didn't show y'all the downstairs shower, but it's very similar to the second shower that I showed you. Um, I can tell you this room, because of this large window, I like sunlight. Um, I like queen size bed, and I like that the TV was right here so I could put the computer right here. All in all, all in all, I will tell you this, key points about uh, pad split one the cost is straightforward very straightforward it's not like rent where you have to pay a uh, light electricity water um, renters insurance although you can pay renters insurance here but it's not a necessity um, all the fees that are associated outside of the actual rent or non-existent so that 170 a week I pay I get internet I get water I get electricity um, all of that stuff is covered I do not have to worry about the water I do not have to worry about any of that stuff um, only thing I have to worry about is making that 170 um, every week uh, I've been recently struggling with making those payments because I I'm like in between jobs I've been ubering um, every night I ubered last night for like nine hours um, I woke up around 12 and I was like man let me do a YouTube video um, what can I do while I'm just sitting in here tired uh, this was the answer to my dilemma because um, I'm trying to I'm trying to keep stuff rolling because I have to go uber again tonight to make that 145 that y'all saw on the screen um yeah so i would say it's a good spot if you um if you can make that that payment somewhere between 600 and 800 dollars a month um you don't want to worry about paying those other bills and um you're okay with sharing a kitchen with someone because that's a big deal that you know when you get home and you just finished like a 12-hour shift like one day i got got home I finished 13 hours my first thought can't be I'm gonna cook once I get inside my first thought can't be that because you don't know if someone's using the kitchen when you get home and not everyone here is okay with someone else cooking right next to them there's some who are but some aren't and um, you can say hey you know I live here too I'm gonna cook here right next to you right and you can have that beef but I, me personally I don't want to have that beef so if someone's in the kitchen right when I walk in and they're cooking change of plan I'm not cooking anything I'm gonna heat something up have an alternative ready and I'll cook whatever I'm cooking the next day the next morning or something like that 
um, and I'll meal prep it so that way I don't have to worry about cooking. Um, surprisingly with seven people uh, there's not really an issue with the washing machine. I mean it only takes 30 minutes to wash, an hour to dry, it's one person so I mean some of these guys do one load every two weeks. Some of them, I do one load a week because I like to keep my room clean. Um, it looks somewhat messy, but I promise you it, it really isn't. I just have a lot of stuff because I'm selling stuff and I'm trying to get rid of stuff. So that way, yeah. Anyway, so laundry's not really a big deal. The big deals, the big, big deals when it comes to pass split. The stuff that is going to make you like or dislike the experience is one, the kitchen, two, the parking. Crazy enough, the parking. Honestly, you could honestly put parking as number one, really, because it's it will it will be one of those things that annoys you in a way that doesn't make sense. The parking, the kitchen, and the cleanliness. Those are going to be your three your three big ones because man the girl that was in that room before the guy was talking she was dirty man she never cleaned her room her room had a stench coming out of it when she would go to the kitchen <clears throat> she would use stuff and she would leave stuff out on the stove um, people would tell her about it she wouldn't clean it um, she would put stuff in the fridge and never do anything about it it was sitting there for weeks you can't throw her stuff away because that'd be messed up but it's like she's not gonna eat it she's not gonna do nothing with it might as well throw it away um yeah so that's gonna be your biggest things is cleanliness because in terms of um functionality it's very quiet in here i mean you could almost feel like you're in here by yourself. No one plays loud blasting music. It's against the rules. No one is like exercising in their room, doing anything crazy. Um, it's it's pretty quiet. I mean, I did this whole video and I only got encountered by one person, but there's five people in here currently. There's five people in here and only one person encountered me. Everyone else is in their room, either sleeping or doing their own thing or whatever it might be. Um, so I'd say your pros to pad split is hey you're not at home with family you're not uh, on the streets you have someone to sleep maybe you had an apartment and you no longer can afford an apartment so you're like I'm just gonna go to do this um, in Houston apartment for a single person is probably like $200 more than what I'm currently paying and believe it or not I cannot afford $200 more I can barely afford this 680 a week it's crazy but um, my goal is to get out of this place and be able to afford something a little bit more so that way I can have family over and actually decorate my own place or to some degree you know or something like you know having to ask for permission to bring a table in it's like so crazy it's like just a table and it's not any ta it's a folding table at that the table folds up and you pack it up in your car and it's ready to go like right away um so i would say pros is it's it's a really nice place um you don't have to worry about all the bills and stuff so you it's a good place to go if you're trying to get back on your feet or get to your feet get to your feet because I'm I'm not getting back on feet I'm trying to get on feet I'm I was on the bed laying down and now I'm like sitting up and I'm trying to get on my feet anyway so that's my uh, pad split review uh, like comment uh, share I'm gonna leave my uh, pad split um, invite code in below I would super love if y'all use the invite code if you do decide to get a pad split because you watch this video or it encouraged you to watch this video it would help a brother out um yeah so peace ganja out